dear friends let's continue the discussion on the segmental anatomy of the liver this is the part 2 of uh, this series now uh, before we go into the segments we have to uh, look at some of the fissures a short review then we will make a sectorial division finally we will go to segments and that will be the order in which we will proceed now we will recall this slide from the previous video we have already identified this main portal fissure now based on that we reclassified what we knew as anatomical lobes into physiological right lobe and physiological left lobe thereafter on the inferior surface we tried to map where the quadrate and the caudate lobes belong to from this it is very obvious that these two along with the left lobe are components of the uh, physiological left lobe once again going back the main portal fissure is clearly seen now what just flashed as additional label is the umbilical fissure this fissure is important it is uh, to the right uh, to the left of the main fissure it roughly corresponds to the uh, location of uh, the uh, falciform ligament the plane of attachment to the liver and also on the inferior aspect the course of the ligamentum teres of course this fissure is closely associated with this uh, vein we will come to that a little later so that's about the second fissure and umbilical fissure slowly we are beginning to divide uh, the uh, lobes into sectors we will try to bring in the nomenclatures in, in due course now you see median main fissure the portal fissure then we know there is an umbilical fissure now there is a another fissure called the left portal fissure i repeat there is a third fissure called the left portal fissure now this fissure is further to the left of the umbilical fissure and this fissure is important for uh, the final demarcation of some of the sectors into uh, segments now we will keep that also in mind next we we'll let let's at least at least at the as it appears in this front view we will try to identify as much as sectors as possible we are still in the level of sectors not yet at the level of segments i hope that's clear now you see we have dissected the liver we have scooped up the parenchyma till we have reached a certain depth where the portal vein or its branches the posterior aspect hepatic vein or its tributaries uh, until those structures become uh, visible now you see based on this line which is the main portal fissure the left lobe can be further divided in collectively there are a number of sectors together we will call them as the left sectors left sectors not segment sectors similarly on the right you will have uh, the right sectors okay sectors not segments next the left sectors because the umbilical uh, fissure is already defined can now be divided into left medial and left lateral the plane of division being the umbilical fissure itself see the umbilical fissure divides the whole of the left uh, physiological lobe into a left medial sector and a left lateral sector next similarly on the right side the whole area we have called it as a right sectors right medial sectors we can further further divide you see there is a another fissure this is to the right of the main portal fissure remember this view is not the front view 
this is antero lateral view of the liver i repeat this is the antero lateral view and now i have focused on another fissure a new fissure called right portal fissure i repeat right portal fissure let me once again uh, bring home the point that these are all created as a part of the dissection to demonstrate the specimen none of these fissures the main fissure umbilical fissure actually exist that's why we had an anatomical classification where uh, you know it was just four lobes right lobe left lobe quadrate lobe chordate lobe but because of the division of the portal vein into different branches and there seems to be a certain amount of autonomy to some of the branching uh, areas and the associated parenchyma and now we are beginning to look at it as a, a sectors and therefore subsequently as a segments now this fissure right portal fissure artificially created as a part of the dissection runs from see when we look at the front view the right edge of the inferior border you take a point connect that with along a plane that uh, uh, joins the uh, right hepatic vein uh, with the inferior vena cava that means at the right edge of the inferior cava roughly at the point where the right hepatic vein joins it now that will uh, cut this liver into uh, another uh, two segment sectors i repeat now into other two segments because of the right portal fissure this area entire area to the right of this uh, uh main portal fissure will be divided into you see right medial and right lateral sectors i repeat just like we had on the left lobe left lateral and left medial sectors similarly on the right side we have right lateral sector and right medial sector that entire area okay on on the uh, right of this uh, a uh, fisher is whole thing is the sector similarly this side right medial sector now that's the main fisher remember the the uh, view is antero lateral view next this was the foundation which we have laid as a basic level of knowledge to understand the segmental anatomy of the liver now let's try to identify the segments before that we will just recapitulate quickly main fissure umbilical fissure left portal fissure this is all we know of course on the right side the right portal fissure now you see we will introduce one more fissure like this there are many the one most prominently i have ident put it for identification is the intersegmental fissure now all the others are also intersegmental fissure they cut the respective sectors into one or two uh, into two or more segments i repeat into segments now this is finally we will have eight liver segments now this intersegmental space is the key item based on which sectors are going to turn into um, segments i repeat into hepatic segments now you see based on this let's see now immediately to the right of the main fissure okay what we earlier called as the right medial sector because of the introduction of the intersegmental fissure we now have this sector divided into a upper sector and a lower sector but in our classification cunard's classification we give a name these are the upper sector is called sector 8 the lower sector is called sector 5 sector 5 and sector 8 are the two components of the right medial um, sorry segment segment 8 and segment 5 are the two components of the right medial sector next similarly on this side of the median fissure there is only one segment that whole thing is the sector 4 the whole thing is a sec is sorry is a segment 4 i repeat is a segment 4 next the umbilical fissure further helps us classify the whole area to the left of this umbilical fissure it is divided of course the left portal fissure is there to divide further into 
segment two and segment three. That means we have identified segment five and segment eight on the right of the. Uh, I'm sorry. Se these are se segments uh, five and eight to the right of the uh, main fissure. Immediately to the left of the main fissure is uh, um, the segment four. Further to the left of it is the sector two and sector three. Next. Now, having identified at least a few sectors, remember we have not yet identified all the sectors, uh, all the segments. It's time we introduced the portal vein into this segmental uh, differentiation or segmental compartmentalization. This is the inferior surface of the liver. You can see the portal vein exactly as it is entering the inferior surface. In other words, the portal vein has been dissected from the porta hepatis uh, forwards into the parenchyma of the liver. Slowly, we are beginning to see that it has divided into two, roughly two major uh, branching uh, uh, stems. One is these um, yellow arrows. The other one is green arrows. That means the ones go on the green are going to the left. Probably that is uh, giving you the early indication that that's the left portal vein. The whole thing on the right, that is the yellow, gives you a, an early uh, a draft view of uh, the right portal vein. That means slowly the portal vein is going to divide into smaller and smaller branches. Based on this branching pattern, we are going to uh, you know, link this with the uh, liver segments, uh, which we have, at least some of which we have identified further. That means no, no single video is going to give you the complete picture. You will have to go through all the videos one after the other. And finally, develop a, uh, just like a jigsaw puzzle, develop a, a concept of the liver segmentation. Similarly, watch carefully. This is posterior view, posterior inferior view of the liver. You can see the caudate lobe. Just adjacent to the caudate lobe, you can see the inferior vena cava. And at least one tributary I have dissected just to introduce the concept. That tributary is the right hepatic vein. Now you see, we have brought in portal vein and its branching pattern into the segmental compartmentalization. Next, we are also trying to introduce the another branching pattern, namely the formation of hepatic veins and uh, how the hepatic veins reach the inferior vena cava. Now, these two branching patterns are very, very critical in giving a, a final shape to the eight segments of the liver. This is how Cunard's classification of the liver has been done. We'll stop this video at this stage, uh, but we will continue it into the next video. By the way, that's the IVC. We will continue into the next video, part three, where the whole focus will be on portal vein and its branchings. As we discuss the portal vein and its branching, we will bring in the uh, number, segment numbers and try to map it uh, with that. That will be the objective of uh, part three of uh, this uh, series. Thank you for your patient uh, hearing.